attention to another major sporting event out at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Time trials continue as they continue filling out that field. Here's Jack Aru. There's two big stories that have developed here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. The first was a withdrawal of a car that qualified last week. Danny Sullivan, you pulled your PC-16 out and you put the march into the field with the fastest time of the day. Well, that's right. We figured that the PC-16 wasn't up to speed, up to a racing speed. It wasn't that comfortable. And we'd run real quick with the march, so we decided that was the best way to go. So he's dropped from 11th back to 18th, but doesn't seem too concerned. Another driver that doesn't seem a bit at all concerned about qualifying the second week, because seven days ago he didn't have a ride, is Alunster Sr. 22 years at Indianapolis, you finally made it this time. Did you think a week ago you were going to have a shot? No, I didn't. I didn't think that uh, there was going to be any cars, and uh, I'm sorry for uh, Danny Angaius, because it, it hurts. You know, one comes in and one has to leave like this, but... Uh, it, uh, it's the way it goes sometimes. Now, when Gaius crashed badly earlier in practice and they did not get clearance to put him back in the car, Roger Penske called you and said, hey, you've got the ride. Well, he asked me if I wanted it, and he didn't even have to ask. <laughs> he knew I did. <laughs> well, that's the story here from Indianapolis at the Brickyard. Let's go back now to Pimlico to Becky Dixon. Becky? All right, Jack, thank you very much. It looks like the sun's shining there also. Now for our Athlete of the Week. And as always, there were a number of outstanding contenders. From the world Nine-man softball team with just three other players.